Hey everybody, Rob Bino here from Wager Talk. It's championship week in college football. We're going to take a look at the MAC championship. Toledo has an outside shot at a New Year's Day bowl bid that's given to a group of six team. And they're looking for back-to-back MAC titles in this game. Will they get it done? We're going to go ahead and analyze it and give you a play on that game in just a second here. First off, let me just promo Wager Talk special offer for this week. $15 off any three-day pass with the code 15 off three. Once again, that's special pricing here this week from Wager Talk Championship Week in College Football Action. $15 off any three day pass. Use the code 15 off three to get that done. Let's go ahead and take a look at this game now. Miami of Ohio versus Toledo. Opening number here Toledo minus six and a half, total 46. Game is up to Toledo minus seven and a half, 44 is the total. It's been bet down. We have a regular season meeting to go off of here. Toledo on the road, laid two. Total there was 46 and a half. They won that game at Miami of Ohio, 21 to 17. Miami of Ohio in that contest had their number one quarterback, Blaine Gabbert, available. He got hurt late in the third. And in the fourth quarter, duties were taken over by backup Avion Smith, who's been the quarterback ever since. Toledo led that game 21-3 at halftime, but Miami O scored 14 in the third quarter to cut it to 21-17. They actually had the ball first and 10 late in the game on their own 48-yard line, but Avion Smith fumbled. Toledo recovered, ran out the clock, and won the game. Avion Smith certainly wants redemption for that particular play here in the MAC title game. There was very little offense. In that contest, maybe that's reflected in the total, the current total of 44. But in that contest, 21-17 to 17 final, Toledo 318 total yards, Miami 299. Toledo 4 of 15 on third down conversions, only 26.7%. And there were 14 punts in that game, so it was kind of a defensive battle. Again, motivation for Toledo here would be this long shot possibility of them representing the group of six on New Year's Day. They'll know their fate by the time kickoff happens here. Liberty, who's ranked number 25 um, in the current uh, college football playoff rankings, is ahead of them right now. So Liberty plays in their conference title game against New Mexico State Friday night. If they lose, boy, Toledo would have a little extra motivation to win this one. If Liberty wins, then any chance of a New Year's Day bowl bid for Toledo are out the window and just the motivation of winning back-to-back MAC titles would be present. If, in fact, Liberty loses, it still doesn't mean clear path for Toledo because Tulane plays later in the day, and Tulane would have to lose as well. But Toledo could certainly put pressure on them. So a lot of scenarios here. A lot of motivation for Toledo beyond, or possibly a lot of motivation beyond just this game. But let's take a look at a technical trend here. Um, you know, where, where Toledo stands as far as covering large spreads is concerned. It was a real problem all season long until the last four games when they covered three of their final four as double digit favorites. Um, that worked. However, the other side of the coin, Miami under Chuck Martin, point spread covering machine, nine and three against the spread this year. Toledo just five and five when the number is eight and a half or better. So maybe an edge as far as technical trend is concerned here toward the Miami Red Hawks. Um, Miami's going to play this game the way they always do, right? They got rock solid defense and they play at a snail's pace offensively. They rank 130th in the nation in snaps or seconds per snap. They go at a rate of 30 and a half seconds before they hike the football so for Miami, O, it's going to be slow. It's going to be deep ends. It's going to be see if we can outgrind Toledo. Toledo's explosiveness likely limited here. Miami, O has only allowed three touchdowns outside the red zone the entire season. Certainly quarterback Dequan Finn and running back Penny Boone for Toledo have the big play potential, but Miami shuts it down pretty good as they did in the first contest between these two. In the end, you know, Jason Candle, the head coach of Toledo, his name is being tossed around all over the place right now. 
for other coaching jobs. So we'll see if his focus is truly here. We'll see which team can make adjustments, especially offensive adjustments off of the first game uh, that they played. If Miami of Ohio gets out in front, boy, they're tough to beat. And especially when you're the favorite and you have to cover a large number against them. Toledo won this game last year against a very similar Ohio U team. But we have to remember that Ohio U had lost their starting quarterback and star player Curtis Rourke before that one happened. Um, same scenario here, but Miami O's been going with Avion Smith for quite a while now. I think the plus eight and a half is too much. I'm going to take a look at Miami plus the eight and a half in this game. You can get all my selections for this week, college football championship week. Over the course of the last 10 weeks, number one profitable, hand, most profitable handicapper at wager talking college football, the 10 weeks have produced plus 58 units of profit, 62% winners. Big play up already for the weekend. You can get them all at wagertalk.com. This is Rob Vino saying see you soon. We'll come back with another uh, isolated championship week play later on this week.